Hello everyone and welcome back to the corner. My name is Drac. So today we've been doing a bunch of spotlight videos on some early game monsters that are relatively easy to get and skill up uh, that are good for an early Giants team. So I figure I've shown you five monsters so let's try these five in a quick Giants B10 team and see how they do. Alright so let's look here. Now I'm gonna swap one of these out here because I was playing around with it earlier. So we're going to take this team in. We got Ramahan in the lead with Bernard, Seal, Bella, and Shannon bringing up the rest of the team. Let me give you a quick rundown of what each of their stats looks like here. Whoops, I did not mean to deselect. I want to show you their stats. So there's Ramahan uh, sitting at uh, about 13k HP with 2,000 defense. Look at Bernard. He's at just shy of 18k HP with uh, 1,099 defense, or, nine, or 89 defense, sorry, 1,089. We got Seal at 15k health and 910 defense. Come on, select Bella. There we go. We got Bella at just shy of 15k defense with... Uh, 22k health, or sorry, yeah, 22k. And then Shannon, who is not even 6-star. Now, you honestly should never have to 6-star Shannon. Now, my Shannon's health is a little low for this, but she's got good defense, so she should still be good for this. Let's go ahead and start this run. Now, this team is not a fast team. This is a safe team, a reliable team, one that should clear the Giant, Relatively easy with a hundred percent success rate, but you're still looking at you know four four and a half minute runs. So we're gonna just let them run through this and kind of show you how they work together. I oh, got a nice stun unseal already. Took out one of the crystals. Now, especially when you first start on this, one of the biggest problems you're gonna have is those crystals hit hard, and they can wipe your entire team if you don't take them out quickly. So sometimes when you're early on and you don't have a team who can do what my team is doing you may want to have your uh, use your little select thing to focus fire the crystals to keep the stun up or to break them fast like this. So you just tap on the crystal. Uh, now that crystal's stunned, let's move over to the other one. Okay, attack break on it. So that crystal's not going to hit nearly as hard. So even then, though, you can see how much damage it did to Shannon. Imagine those things both firing off at once. That would be devastating. So other monster combinations that you can put in here uh, for farmable monsters. If you have a hard time surviving this with this team, you can swap Bella out for like Michelle, the Wind of Picion Priest. She's got a more powerful heal than Bella, uh, and her heal extends buffs, uh, and she's got a res. So she's a great one to use instead of Bella. Uh, you can also uh, replace Seal. And you can put uh, Amon in her place, which is the light war bear, or sorry, the light bear man, because he heals everyone whenever he crits, so you just max out his crit. Uh, and then you bring him in Seal's place. Now that means you're going to lose out on your backup attack break, but he heals everyone every turn, so it's still worth having. It's a decent swap out. And he's farmable from a secret dungeon on Sundays, just like Bella is. Uh, other options too, instead of Seal, you could bring in Konamiya. Konamiya is the Water Garuda. Uh, his heal acts as a cleanse, which works great when you're dealing with the Giant himself. Because he, one of his towers will reduce your team's uh, defense. So Konamiya will be able to remove that. Plus, Konamiya's second skill gives one of your monsters another turn. So that's a great alternative as well. Um, if you are lucky enough to get something like a Chisun, the Wind Sky Dancer, or even the Water Sky Dancer, uh, you know, they would be great alternatives to bring in here in Seal's place as well. Alright, so we're at the Giant. I landed the attack break. That's great. Uh, there's a dot to help speed this up a little bit. Good, we got a smother off. Nice. That was a decent chunk of damage. 
See, now he's got that, uh, he had that attack buff on him, and Bella just swiped it right off. That's why Bella is amazing. Ramahan has the same skill, so if one of them fails, the other one can pick it up. As you can see, this team is not having a hard time dealing with the giant at all. And uh, Seal is doing a pretty good job of keeping those crystals down as well, combined with Shannon's slow. Ooh, that was a decent chunk of damage, but, you know, everyone survived. Now Bella's going to start bringing their health back up. All right, and the giant is down. All right, so this team is has two two stars and three three stars on it. Um, except for Shannon, they're all, uh, well, I take that back. Yeah, except for Shannon, all of them are, if they're not farmable themselves, their food is farmable. So these are all monsters that are worth having. They're easy to get, and they will help you with your first Giants team if you're having a hard time and you don't have any Nat 4s or Nat 5s yet. If you're like me and you're just that unlucky, this team will take care of you. So let's see what we got. Ah, it's trash. That's yeah, another, you know, 12k extra. Uh, mana crystals, though, actually, was more like 15k when you factor in how much dropped from the giant himself. So yeah, that was the team. Uh, that team, all relatively easy to get, all very useful, and as you can see, they work quite well together. They have a strong team synergy. So try and get a hold of those guys for your first giants team if you don't have any other alternatives, and they'll get you through it and get you start to where you're farming the nice six star runes which will help you in your Trial of Ascension, and it'll help you work your way up to Dragon's B8. Uh, the progression that you're looking for is you want to be able to do Giant's B10, and then you want to be able to do TOA up to at least floor 90, if not 100, and then you want to start looking at your Dragon's B8. Uh, now, you can, of course, change that up however you want. I, I was doing Dragon's B8 and B9 before I beat uh, TOA for the first time, so that can be changed up a little bit, but... Giants B10 transitions quite nicely into Dragons B8. So get to B10, farm up some nice runes, and then you'll be well on your way to being able to take on the dragon, and you'll really start conquering in PvP. So till next time, that's all I got. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. Uh, and until next time, we will see you in the corner.